In this video, I'll be showing you how we do our laundry, how we keep up with laundry with a family of six living in an RV full time, and also some things we've learned along the way about how to keep the amount of laundry that we have to do to a minimum. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Rachel, I'm married to Matt, and we have five children. We are currently living in an RV full time, traveling the lower states with four of our kids. So I bought a washer spin dryer for our camper so that when we can't get to a laundromat, I have a way to keep up on our laundry and it does really small loads of laundry. So like I'll use it for my clothing or maybe something that the kids peed in that I don't want to wash with all our other stuff. Um, I'll also use it for things like when you've just finished doing all the laundry <laughs> and you find five more things that need to be washed, I'll do that. And then once I've done a few little loads, then I'll take those to the laundromat to dry them in the dryer. I don't usually hang our stuff to dry just because here in Southern Texas, it tends to be quite humid. And so things take quite a long time to dry. Um, some of the things that we've figured out over the last couple of months to help minimize the amount of laundry that we have is each person has two towels one bath towel and one beach towel. So our bath towel, we'll use that two or three times and hang it up in between uses before I'll wash it. And then our beach towels, we will use for a week or two, depending on how many times we go to the beach and then just hang that up to dry in between because those really are just gonna get so sandy and dirty and don't need to be washed constantly. Um, another thing is the kids go out and play and get their clothes so dirty and they come in and change and then they go back out a little while later and get those clothes so dirty. And so what we're doing now is having them change when they come in from play, but then if they're going back out, they're putting on that same dirty outfit again so that we're not going through so many clothes. And then they'll get a fresh outfit the next day for their play. So this is the washing machine that I picked up on Amazon. I don't know what it's called, but I'll put it in the description of this video what it is called. I paid about $100, I think that was US, and had it shipped to my friend's place where I was staying in California, and it took about two days, one or two days, to get it, so that wasn't bad. So it takes a really small load of laundry, like a pair of jeans, a couple shirts, some socks and underwear, that's probably a full load. And this here is the wash timer and sounds like this. And then it'll just turn off. You can do a shorter load if you don't want to do a full 15 minutes. And then this is for if you want to drain, you would switch this to drain. And then you would take this hose off and I would have it going into a Rubbermaid on the floor. You want to make sure this hose is always um, attached in this upward position when you're washing and only take it down when you're draining. And then when you're refilling the machine, you're going to want to make sure that you have reattached this in the upright position again and taken this off of drain or it puts an extra amount of water in there and it just uh, takes a lot longer to fill. This is your spin timer, and honestly, I usually only spin the clothes for 30 seconds. I don't really make it spin very long. So this is the spin compartment. You can probably fit half of your load of laundry in there at one time, and you wanna make sure that nothing is sticking up above this lip, because if it is, it's gonna, um, if it's a small item like a sock or something like that, it will fall in down beside the tub here. I've had that happen and it was a really huge pain in the neck trying to get that out of there because it was clogging the drain under there. Um, so I only fill this with probably half of the clothes that I put in and then it will make a really wonky thumping sound if your clothing that's in there is not put in evenly. You want it to be evenly distributed in there so that it's going to spin nicely. Um, sometimes I find that if I just put a little bit of pressure on the lid when I'm spinning, that does help. 
So this is the wash compartment and it's quite a small basket. I'll try and demonstrate how small this is. So this is my hand. I do not have large hands. I have normal sized female hands. <laughs> um, and it seems like, let me see how deep this is. Not quite to my elbow in depth and you're not filling this. So see halfway down here at this line, that's your water line. So it's uh, less than half of the depth of this basket that you're putting clothes in. So it's really not, you're really not able to do that much in here. But when you're stuck and you need to wash laundry and there's no laundromat, this really does help. Another issue with these that I had at first when I was first using it was that to drain it, when you put this down, what are you going to drain it in? It's got this short cord to the wall, and so I'm going to drain this in my tub, but it can't f reach, and there's no outlet close enough to my tub. But the other issue is I can't drain it in my tub because it won't drain up, it needs to drain down. So what I ended up doing is I take this box that I have for my shoes here. It's just a wooden box. I flip it upside down and I set the washing machine on top of it. So it raises it up about eight to 10 inches. And then I have a Rubbermaid sit beside it that I drain into and I'll show you what that looks like. So I'll wash a load of laundry in there and then I will drain it. Then I'm going to take the clothes and I'm going to spin them out in the spinner and then put them back in the wash tub, fill it up again with water and run the whole thing again as a rinse. I find, and then I'll drain it and spin it again. So I find that I need to wash once and rinse twice and then spinning in between each one before my clothes are actually clean. Occasionally I will even do a third rinse. And sometimes I'll even do a second wash because if the clothes are really dirty, I just, I want that water pretty clean when it, when the clothes are coming out. So if it's um, rinsing and draining out pretty dirty, I'm just going to do it again. So a load of laundry could take 20 minutes to wash and rinse, or it could take an hour. It really just depends on how picky you are with the cleanliness of your clothes and how dirty the load is that you're doing. So would I say that it's worth having this on hand? For sure, because you can't always get to a laundromat. Some laundromats are cheap and only gonna charge you $1.75 a wash, but some of them are gonna charge $7 a wash, and it really just depends on the size of the machine and the laundromat. So um, if you're doing a lot of boondocking or anything like that, you definitely wanna have one of these on hand. And I would just say do both. When I have access to cheap machines, I definitely do laundry there. It's a lot easier to get it done quickly, but I do like having this guy on hand. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a minute and like this video. Also, please hit subscribe. And if you didn't see the video where we did a tour of our RV, you can check that out here. Or you can go here and watch the video that I did on how we homeschool our four kids while living on the road full time.